Hello guys, Nato Ace here, and I want to give my thoughts on that MU new announcement, which is Street of Rage 4. So, just like a lot of people, when I turn on YouTube, I saw the trailer, like, oh my god, so they're finally doing a new Street of Rage. So, still has the classic 2D style fighting, but this time it's in a comic book style rather than Sprite. So, kind of same as Monster, Monster Boy. Another game that that MU basically did. Another with a cartoony style, uh, pretty good. And of course, another one that that MU also gonna do is Wind Jammer 2, a classic SNK game. Now, 25 years later, there's your sequel. So this one basically, I wanna focus more on Street of Rage 4 because it looks awesome. It looks interesting. Ba you know, right now the trailer show they show some great gameplay, so it is cartoony or comic-y to some extent. I wouldn't be surprised if they have that special Easter egg where you could turn retro, just like the Genesis. But I think at that point on, it's probably going to be difficult for this one. But I like the new style. I mean, that's always been a lot of the new style. A Double Dragon Neon kind of did it. Uh, granted, the mechanics were not really that good. Like I said, Monster Boy did that pretty good, and of course, you can see. Uh, Win Jammer 2. So, I mean, it's at least it's good that Sega is reviving a lot of the old classic. I know they did mention that they would like to, and I guess it's just a start starting with Street Race. So, I wouldn't surprise other IP from Sega, from the Genesis, uh, Sega. I mean, Sakura War is also another IP that's also making a comeback, so that's pretty cool. But what I really want to see is bring back the Sega classic collection from the PS2 so if you don't know what it is it's a compilation disc for the PS2 but they're not really Sega Genesis or old classic more of the modernized version of the Sega classic into Sega Ages which basically some of those games that's what it is some of the Sega Ages game and it's not about like the Nintendo Switch classic version it's more of modernizing some of them such as Outrun uh, Bonanza Brothers there were some of them I, I haven't. It was pretty good, in my opinion. Maybe bring that back, you know, revise those, and maybe a brand new version of a Sega Classic Collection. And this time, a lot more of the Sega Ages style, especially Fantasy Star. I mean, there was a rumor they was gonna bring, they were gonna bring that in America at one point, but then I guess they canceled it. But it, if not, what other game I really want to see bring back, for, like really old? Well. I would say Comic Zone, but I played the first one, wasn't really that good. Maybe they'll improve that. Uh, what else? Uh, I guess a brand new Alex Kid game. That would be nice. Or anything from the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive collection. Make it modernize, you know, make a true sequel to it. Like, why not Space Harriers 3 finally do that one? I mean, they're gonna do Sakura War, so that's kind of interesting. Let's see if they're gonna bring that outside of Japan. And of course, a sort of a sequel to Yakuza, but it's not really Yakuza, but it's a different story there. Yeah, I mean, you know, with Street of Rage 4 being now, there's a fourth version and modernized version of the Monster Boy series. I uh, wouldn't be surprised at a lot of them. I mean, besides Sonic, I mean, they've been doing Sonic, like Sonic 4 was like, eh, well, that's a different story there and it was really unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I mean, that'd be awesome. I mean, I don't want Vector, Vector Man. Maybe a better version of Golden Axe. I know there was one before, but didn't really do well. Uh, what is that one? Alter Beast. There was an Alter Beast game, but they canceled it. Maybe this time, like, a 2D version just made it better. Yeah, I mean, with Street of Rage 4 being modernized and Windjammer 2 to some extent, if Sega's basically supporting it, the options are endless, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's even more classic being remade or being sequel. You know, that'd be awesome. So I can't wait for that one. So yeah, I mean, Street of Rage 4, when they announced it, awesome. I can't wait for it. So we're gonna have to wait and see what happened in the long run. So yeah, that's my thoughts about it. And with that, thanks for listening.